In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the catalytic converters in this Toyota Prius. Let's get into it. We're going to remove the O2 sensor. You can use an O2 sensor socket or a 22 millimeter wrench. Loosen it up. I'm just going to twist it and it slides right out. You can set that aside. Remove this bracket, use a 12 millimeter socket, take these bolts out. Take that off. And if yours is connected, you want to take those off as well. I'm using a pole jack, I'm just going to support the exhaust right here so it doesn't fall. That's good. Take the two bolts out on the back. There is a couple springs on there. Use a 14 millimeter socket. That's going to separate right there. And there should be a gasket in there. Using a 14 millimeter socket, take this bolt out. Slides right out. Using a 14 millimeter socket on this side and then on the back side there is a nut so I'm going to use a 14 millimeter wrench. Hold the nut from spinning. Take that bolt out. It's got the spring on it as well. You may have a clamp right here or if you have a solid piece, you might want to cut right there with a sawzall. Just separate this. Push this back a little bit. Oops. Slide this piece out. And you want to pop the mounts off where the brackets are. And just grab this pipe and slide it down. We're going to remove the old donut seal. Just using a scraper, just getting behind the seal. You can use a pry bar as well. Just giving it a tap with a hammer. There we go, pop that off. Just using a wire brush, I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. Good. Take the new donut gasket, line it up, and carefully push it on. If you need to, you can use a block of wood, you just tap it on. Just be careful. right there. On the back where the muffler is, if there's any donut gasket material here, you want to take that off with a scraper. You might even have to take a little sandpaper and sand it down. On the new pipe, take the donut seal, the smaller one, line that up and push that on. Might have to tap it on a little bit. all the way down. Now we'll go slide this up. Now slide the exhaust into the hangers where the brackets are. And I'm just going to use the pole jack again to support it. Line the two pipes together. Put the spring bolts in. Mm. 
All right, those are tight. Slide the front pipe in place. Connect the two together. Connected. Put the bolt with the spring on. Get that started. And the other side, bolt with the spring. And then there's a nut on the back side on this one. Tighten those down. Tight. Take the O2 sensor. We don't want the wires twisted, so you want to twist them counterclockwise. Put it in the hole and then screw it in. And the wires shouldn't be twisted. That looks good. Tighten this down. If you can get a torque wrench on there, you want to torque that to 30 foot-pounds. Remove the pull jack. Line this bracket up, put the bolts in. Tighten it down. Do the same on the other side. Right here where the two pipes come together, you want to get a clamp that fits. Slide that in place. Or if you have a welder, you want to weld around the entire pipe. Weld the two pipes together. And just tighten that down. After you're done, check for leaks and make adjustments. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.